Hi, it's Josh with Concept Z Performance, and today we're going to be installing some 3 inch AMS lower down pipes on this 2016 Q50. Uh, our customer ordered them in conjunction with the Stillin catback exhaust that we did an install on on our previous episode. Uh, the link will be in the description. So uh, let's get to the install. First, the car has to go up, and if you're doing this on jack stands, make sure you can easily work from the top and bottom, as we will be raising and lowering the car repeatedly, and that could get annoying on jack stands. All right, so we got the car up in the air. The first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the O2 sensor harnesses and remove the left hand and right hand catalytic converter braces. So we're gonna remove the catalytic converter braces. Uh, they're just a 14 mil. I'm gonna take it and break it loose. We're gonna leave these still slightly uh, attached just because uh, when we remove all of the bolts holding it at the top, we don't want it to fall out of the car. Now we're gonna head over to the passenger side and do the same over there. Next thing is removing the uh, O2 sensor connectors. Um, the passenger side one is pretty difficult to get at. Uh, you're gonna have to reach your hand from further back and it's all the way up near the back of the head on the main engine harness. So all you have to do is push on this tab on the female side and pull out on the male side. Now that those are undone, we can do the same for the other side, which is located right above the oil pan on the driver's side. When that's done, we can move to taking off the lower nuts on the catalytic converter, which can be found here. It uses a 14 millimeter nut and spraying it ahead of time with some PB blaster might be helpful. Now we're gonna remove the uh, uh, nuts on the two studs uh, for the catalytic converters. Go into the Y pipe. Uh, these are, again, 14 mil. Uh, these are a pinch nut, so it's gonna be somewhat difficult to get off. And it's never really gonna get easier as you're going back. It's still gonna be pinching on the threads. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing and leave these barely on. Uh, just so when I do get the, the top bolts holding this, it, it doesn't drop out. So now we got the Y pipe all loose and uh, we should be able to move to the top of the car to get the uh, studs that are going up from the catalytic converters and you have to get access to the nut from the top side of the engine bay. So we're lowering the car with just enough space for me to fit underneath and guide the tools into place. An extra set of hands will make this so much easier as you won't be able to see from the top very well with the tools in the way. So let's get that first one off, which is located here. The passenger side has two nuts to remove from the top. We use an array of extensions with a breaker bar. As it is fed down, I guide it to properly fit from the bottom as it is not visible with the tools in there and you don't want the hardware to get rounded off. Now that that's off, we can remove the second one, which is located here. Again, it's fed in and I adjust it so it's securely on the nut. Nice. nice. All of the bolts that are connecting it to the upper cat are out. These are nice and loose, so I'm just gonna remove these nuts that are on the end of the studs on all four. Uh, and then the only thing holding them in are the, the two brackets that we left loose. So we're gonna go ahead and take these all the way out. So, yep, that is out. It's going to be a bit difficult because we still have the exhaust on, but if you can 
get it past these studs. Yep. Like that. After a little bit of fighting, should just pull right out. So this is the driver's side. It has a two bolt flange and then the passenger side has the three bolt flange. I'm gonna remove the last bolt holding in the bracket. Once that comes out, this cat should wanna just fall out. That. As you see here, the driver's side had two nuts and the passenger side had three that needed to be removed. With the cats out, we can remove the O2 sensors and get them ready for the new downpipes. So let's open up the box. We have the hardware as well as some gaskets and the three inch to two and a half inch conversion plates as well as some AMS Alpha stickers. And here are the test pipes. Uh, these are full three inch test pipes. The Alpha logo on the uh, bracket looks pretty nice. The welds look pretty decent. All right, let's get these in the car. The AMS downpipes use studs just like the OEM. So you're gonna tighten it down as far as you can by hand. Uh, and then if you have the inverse Torx bit, uh, you can go ahead and tighten it with that. Uh, we don't at the shop right now. Um, and so we're just gonna use two nuts uh, tightened against each other. Two 14 millimeter wrenches. You tighten these nuts against each other and then you can just tighten the top one and sink the, the stud all the way in there like it is. And the same thing over here, you'll tighten these together tighten the stud into the uh, downpipe. Last but not least, before we install these, we're gonna tighten down the, or install and tighten down the stock O2 sensors. So, wind that around and then grab our special socket, slip it over and tighten it down. All right, now this downpipe is ready to install. All right, so we got the new gasket on the downpipe and we're gonna slide it up into place. Remember that the alpha bracket will be on the inside, uh, the OEM catalytic converter bracket. So you're gonna remember to use the locking nuts on the actual studs. Alpha provides, I believe, five locking nuts, two on this side and the three on the other side that connect it to the upper catalytic converter. So let's tighten these up. That can be torqued to 33 foot-pounds. Now we can insert the bolt for this downpipe brace. We got our passenger side downpipe uh, with a fresh gasket and both studs torqued down. Um, we're gonna install this, uh, but we'll only be able to tighten the uh, bottom nut, uh, just like we were only able to tighten the bottom one on this side. Then we'll have to go back above the car and tighten the each nuts that, or the two nuts that go on the top studs, as well as the top stud for the driver's side. Throw this in. Here's the top right one, as well as the top left one. This is the three inch to two and a half inch um, adapter uh, flange, and so. If you're bolting up these three inch downpipes to a two and a half inch exhaust, it's recommended you use this as well as the gasket just so you can get a little bit better of a seal between the, the thin three inch flange and then the thicker two and a half inch flange. So I'm gonna throw that in there as well as a nice fresh new gasket. And 
bolt it all into place. These will be torqued down to 39 foot-pounds. And the same can be done for the passenger side. As well as the brace for the passenger side. With everything tightened and torqued down, we can lower the car once more to tighten the rest from the top. We started with the passenger side, which had two bolts to be tightened down, with the first one located here. And as we did before, the extension is guided down and I placed it onto the nut. So let's tighten these up. That can be torqued to 33 foot-pounds. Onto the next one, which is located here. Lastly, on the driver's side located here, we can finally tighten the last nut, repeating as we did before. Okay. We're gonna remote start the car and check for some exhaust leaks. So you have to lock it first. One hour later. Definitely does sound louder. Everything is nice and sealed and uh, there are no exhaust leaks. Let's get the car down and uh, let's uh, go on a test drive. So there you have it. If you want to hear some more of this exhaust or see what kind of power it made, check the link in the description. Uh, like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.